so I'll pose a question maybe to you, Angeline. What what color is the top part? Blue. So so well, thank you. So the top part we're gonna paint our blue. So we're gonna have a blue that's maybe half a quarter of, of our paper. So so that's a blue. The first part that's our blue. So I think if we start with that, then we move on to the next step. So for, for now, let's put our blue at the top and then um, bring it down. Right, so we've got our colors. Um, we've got yellow, yellow, white, blue, black, red, green. So for now, we're starting with, uh, with the blue. Oh, sorry, we hadn't set up our colors, so we are just preparing them in the plate. So that's that's fine. So as you do that, I can kind of start painting, and then you uh, follow. Okay, thank you. So what? percentage of our what of our paper is like is it a third that we are putting blue yes let's let's put a third and then if you can see our blue looks like it's a bit dark so if you also have white try mix some white some white and some blue you have that sky blue effect okay like that. Uh-huh. Alrighty. Is that coming out? You can see the blue is now coming out. The sky blue is coming out. Okay, so now my my blue is done. My sky blue is done. There we go. So you can have a look at that. So my blue, hopefully that can see it. The blue part is done. Ah. Yes. Now from there, I'm um, the other third. Now we start bringing in the yellow. But now we we try and fuse our yellow. So that this line is not clearly visible. Uh -huh. You see. So let me try and put the yellow to the see. Yeah. 
And how much is yellow? Is it another third or? Um, almost let's try and, and make it about two thirds so that at least the bottom part is small. That is left. Okay, all right. Yes. And it's still with the same brush. Um, you can change the brush or just dip it in water so that you clear off the blue. How long have you been painting, Josh, if I may ask? Um, I've been painting since, wow, since I was a, a, a pri primary school. Like, that's like wow. Long time. <laughs> so I've been basically painting most of my life. But now you only realize, like, when you actually have grown up a bit, that this is actually something you should actually do for a living. So that's, that's how it is. But during the initial stages, it will be just for fun. Yeah, life, things have changed now. You can exactly. make a living. I think people are recognizing and accepting that you can make a living from any talent you have. Whereas okay. in my days, if I'd say to my father and mother, I want to paint, I, w I don't think <laughs> I'd have <it> survived. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been the end of me. <laughs> and now I think also we're also appreciating that it's not just for a living that you can do this for, but for mm -hmm. your mental health as well. Because um, we're, we're saying the moment that you start doing this art, like just taking a brush and paint and start drawing, it has some form of relief that it does to your mental side. It brings that um, there's a sense of um relief that it brings to your mental side. Um, less stress in 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 ways you've got um less less hustles that you start thinking of because mostly you just your mind is there and you, you move from everything else that's either bothering you or that's um making you um edgy. So it, it is very helpful in terms of um the mental side and it's very therapeutic. I'd recommend it any day. Yeah, we we can appreciate this, especially Nancy Mkud has really taken it on. I can see she's painted a lot for, and this was <laughs> on our Facebook group. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I suppose, you know, when you are just, you know, on your own in the house, it's something, you know, to stimulate the mind. You know, you don't concentrate on well, oh, Yeah. Like I'm not important. You will just, yeah, you can take up, you know, another skill just to stimulate mm. your mind. Mm. I think as well, you can use it, you know, to entertain the children in the house. You know, to take them away from the gadgets, and then you sit yeah. around the table, 
and you paint and you're talking, you're having laugh, you, you know, you're joking. You know, it's, it's, it, you know, it creates a good family time, isn't it? When you're it doing does. it together as a family. It does, it definitely. Does. I need to find out. Let me see. Do you have to, did you say we have to leave the, the white part very, very small at the bottom? Yeah, I think very small. Mm. So let's, let's just bring it down a bit, maybe up until here. Okay, maybe. so do we have, okay, yeah. Let me try. It's my first day. It's my first day to hold a brush to paint. Oh, <laughs> the only thing I do when I'm painting is to do, you know, when I'm doing it, the kids, you know, just that hand print and the footprint. So you're going to see my, my painting. But I think for a right. so, 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 <laughs> time. Yeah. You guys for a minute. I just said you guys for a minute. So if you can see um, the area that we put our, our, our division, Try and, and wipe it up like, like you go clouds or stuff. Just a bit. So it looks like um, a cloud barrier. Like, so you yeah. need white there, is it? Just a okay. dash of white so that it looks like a, a barrier. I couldn't find white. So can I put anything <laughs> red? <laughs> I couldn't <laughs> find white. No sign, just leave it like that then. You can just leave it like that, it's fine. Okay. Yes. So let's just continue with the yellow until it comes the bottom part. We know what we're painting before we we start, or we're just painting and we see what comes out. No, it's actually it's it's, it's, it's a horizon. Because I'm thinking oh, at the end, yes, at the end we're just gonna put maybe a tree. But now this tree will be what your perception of a tree is after we do the background though. So it's all yellow up to the bottom. Yes, <laughs> and then so now um for the bottom part we're gonna make brown. So brown is a okay. you guys you all guys have red. Red. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna mix red and green to make brown. Okay. What proportions is it 50 50? Um, you can mix until you see a shade of uh, brown that you'd want. Don't, don't make it 50 50 because if you make it 50 50, it won't actually be a brown. Okay, so make sure that um, you've got a little green and then the red has to be a lot so, so that you can actually okay. have a shade of brown. <laughs> I don't have brown. <laughs> <laughs> Can, can I just put anything because I don't have brown? All right, no, that's fine. <laughs> I've, yeah, I've got red, blue, and yellow. I couldn't find white. All right, so you can, you can, mix, you can mix your red and your yellow to have that orange still that you can use as a brown. Okay. Yeah. So 
So I can see it's actually coming out here. Yeah. Red and green. Alicia, how are you doing? Good. Yeah. Is it coming out? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I can't wait to see it. Is this, is this my chiremba? Uh, yes, it is. Hello, everybody. Hello. 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 Oh yeah, I can't find my My hand, my hand got stuck on the paper. <laughs> <laughs> Has she been beaten by something? <laughs> it's so cool. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. What are you saying, Alisa? Just do your best. I'm sure it's lovely, Alicia. So you can now see that um, after I've done my, my, my brown at the bottom, like I'm now starting to bring my tree out from the brown at the bottom. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm now making the tree, like I did. Because after we have done the background, now we want to start making the tree. Oh, that's a tree. Oh, that. Oh. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> what were you drawing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you are not good. <laughs> My tree is going to be interesting. <laughs> it's one of there's only one kind. <laughs> Alicia, how is it going there? It's quiet now. Good. Good, okay then. Have you done your, your, your ground? Not yet. Not yet, okay then. I can't wait to see your picture. I know you are very good at art. <laughs> Yeah, mine is something else. I'm telling you. Who is that's, that, 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 that stem is big. Is, is it a baobab tree? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I hope I see my will you falling. I, I know. It took me somewhere when I just saw that the stem is big. Trif, oh. trif, trif. <laughs> Alrighty. Um. So then, my my scheme is done. So now I need to play with the green track and it is um the missing effect. Yeah. Yeah. Too fast. <laughs> Sorry about <laughs> that. Yeah. Yes. Too. We are still we are still trying to shape this step. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next time you can, you can take your time then. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
I don't, I'm not good at doing quiz. <laughs> I, 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 well, I don't know what, mine, if you see it, I don't know what you think it is. I don't know. You won't even think it's a tree. <laughs> no, you would not even think. <laughs> it's whatever you want to call it, my dear. If it's I think one... it's like, mine is like, <laughs> like a fast. <laughs> you know, there's abstract art with, with, with some flowers in it. <laughs> you know, with abstract art, you just name it whatever you want, and people have uh, open their eyes and see that the thing you're talking about. <laughs> so this is one of them. Uh, Do you know what? I'm keeping this. I'm gonna keep this for years. It's a memory. First yeah, day to paint a tree. <laughs> So you said you started painting when you were young. So how many years do I need to be painting to for me to, to produce something that's if you're, if you're a good learner, good and quick learner, it can take you maybe maybe a year to be like on point. Okay. Wow. That is if you practice every day though. Okay. Yes. You need to, I will make sure you practice every day. <laughs> I'll be bothering you every day. <laughs> this, is, this is my offering. Can you see it? Wow. Oh, my days. How did I not come up with that? I'm using pencils. I, I, I couldn't go and wait in the queue at Wilco for paints. I'll try next time. Yeah. Because I will be knocking on your door every day. You know me. <laughs> Very <laughs> persistent. Well, this is actually good. Because even if I'm not producing much, but just taking my mind off everything and just having a laugh, you know. That's, yeah. That's yeah. It's worth it. There's just too much to think about. So right. someone right. was. I wish I had. So we're all supposed to be painting. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh, today I'll be admiring your good work. All of you. <laughs> wow. That would be all my days. Oh no! We have done I, that already. I managed to do that. <laughs> good. Yes, me. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. So, That's beautiful. Is that right? Wow. Beginnings, like one of the starts. Whereby, whereby, this is just basic. If you, if you notice how we did this, this is just basic. So, um, ma mainly, it's mostly about creating um the, the horizon at the back and then bringing up your tea in, 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 in front of that horizon. This is beautiful. I can't believe I just put I just put two people here just to make sure that there's something on these are just black black figures if you can see. Nothing fancy. There we go. And then on top here I put birds again, if you can see. see. Yeah. And the, <laughs> yeah, basically that's that's about it. And then I like when you guys were talking, saying that you got sense of relief in, in just the last and stuff. That's, that's basically what we want to try and achieve, like as we do this whole thing. It's, it's not a matter of being the best at it, but it's a matter of, of, of bringing a sense of relief, especially in times that we're in lockdown, in times that we're just under confinement. It, it, it brings that about that inner, inner, inner happiness, a spot where we can actually and yeah. have some fun. Yes. Think. So basically, yeah, that's that's what we have to try and achieve. Wow, that's beautiful. Yes. How did you do the, the, the leaves, the green? Yeah. Yeah. Of the green, so. This is beautiful. 
Thank you very much, Josh Chaps. Very, very good. Somebody asked if we are all supposed to be painting. It's, yes. it's just are. one of... Uh -huh. you t can you tell us how much you, you can still get um, a bit of help therapy-wise just by watching, can't you? Yes, by watching, you definitely can. At the same time, although, although it's not as much as when you paint, so the whole idea is yes, you can watch and have that therapeutic um, effect, but it will be even more if you actually take part in the whole painting experience as well. Yeah. Okay, so don't do not be deterred if you haven't got pains like I didn't. I still did something with my crayons. Mm. Exactly. That you can move with crayons and stuff for now if you don't have the paint. Mm. It doesn't mean if you don't have paint, you can't paint. You can use pencil, you can use crayons, you can be creative and then make it work. Mm. So let's see what the artists have. Yes, <coughs> let's see. We haven't wait, wait. <laughs> Why are you rushing? <laughs> because I finished. You finished? <laughs> yes. So, uh, were, you re were you really telling the truth that you can't paint if you have already finished? Well, if you can <laughs> tell what I've painted at the end of it, then. <laughs> <laughs> if you can tell what it is, then, then I was lying. <laughs> I'm a Picasso, you know. Alicia, how are you doing? Do you want to show us yours? Where are you? Is Alicia still on there? Yeah, I'm here. Hello. Do you want to show us what you've done? What did you say? Did you want, do you want to show us what you have done? It's not finished. Okay. I haven't did the background. Oh, wow. There's a background on Alicia's. <laughs> no, the, the blue and yellow bit, I mean. Okay. We are, we are still doing that one. Yeah. I'm on the okay. tree now. Okay. We'll see when you finish. Okay. Oh, I think I've tried, especially on the, those two figures on the side. <laughs> you finished those now. Oh, I've, 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 and now, now I'm trying the beds. <laughs> wow. <laughs> mm. oh. I'm trying to think what color can I put that tool. You know, for those beds. What color black. can I put on? Do you have I, black? I don't have a. I don't have black. I've got. I've got green, red, yellow, and red. Red, yellow, blue, green. Josh. Yes. What color can I try to to use? You know, for the beds, because I don't have black. Um, but I've got. Blue. I, 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 I've already put blue. You know, on the top. So if I put blue, they won't come out. Red. Red. Okay. So whilst you're finishing, if I can just say um, a few words, well, there's something I was just reading on, on mental health, about the myths, the things that we think are true when they are not true on mental health. Uh -huh. Somebody says mental health problems are rare. Is that true or false? It's false. Yeah. I'm just trying. Yes, it is false. Uh, according to statistics, one in four people suffer from mental health every year. And that's in the UK. So one in four people. So it is... Um, it's a big problem. It's one in four. 
that needs to be addressed and what we're doing i think helps for us to just be aware and look after ourselves so that we don't suffer from mental health as much as you can do what you can mm. okay so is this true or false people can recover from a mental illness i think they can they definitely can part of this is therapy like joshua was saying this is used um, when you are treating people with mental health so you will need to seek medical <laughs> advice obviously but yes you can recover from mental illness do you want the to only try? problem is the stigma you know the way people especially people in our culture the way they look at you if they've known that you have suffered from it before you know what i mean <laughs> they don't give you a chance mm. yeah they look at you with suspicion yeah i think it's about it's about sharing as well isn't it sharing you know what you're going through but as you're saying that sometimes people they don't share because of being labeled yeah. because that label you know because it, every, we have different type of illnesses but you see that the stigma around mental health, I think people need to be educated so that there's a change of mindset on, on mental health. And that, that, that if we change our mindset, it, it, it becomes easier you know, for people to open up and to share about their struggles and what they're going through. Mm. Yeah. Just the, yeah. The good thing about art, when you're doing art therapy, it is meant for those people who struggle to open up exactly about how they are feeling. So actually, when you're using the colors, you can actually work out where that, yeah, that person is at in their mental well-being. So the, the, the colors that they pick to do whatever their artwork can indicate how much they are suffering and struggling. So it's not always about opening up about how they feel. Art therapy can relieve what is happening for them psychologically through the use of color and um, the painting stuff. So that is a better way in for a society that doesn't quite, is not quite got to a place where they understand about mental health and opening yeah. up about it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yourself and just as to um, how your your position and if you deal professionally with mental illnesses. Was that Sandra? Yes. yes so was Sandra. Yeah. Okay. Just tell us what you do. Well, I work mainly with the young people with uh, mental health difficulties and uh, my my speciality is mainly young people with autism and ADHD so th these are people that struggle to actually um, express themselves or to communicate verbally so we tend to find that when they use other forms of therapy it does help alleviate the psychological difficulties and art therapy is one of the most effective way that they are able to address their feelings, especially because they don't understand emotional um, emotions. So they, they tend to then highlight how they are feeling emotionally through their, uh, the artwork that they do. Mm. Very mm. Cool. Josh, is there any way you, anything you do to promote what you are doing? Because you actually work with uh, people with uh, mental illnesses and promote art therapy, don't you? So how do you promote that, get it to the public? Um, we've, got, we've got some sessions that we actually do that we just ask people with um, mental challenges to come to and sometimes actually go to um, schools that, offer, um, uh, that have facilities whereby they, they take in um, kids with mental challenges and then we actually go there and do my painting sessions there. So basically, um, we started it small, uh, hoping Take it on a larger scale as, as we begin the new year next week. Wow, that's really good. So, how far are we with the painters? 
So whilst we're doing that, I know Sandra, you said that um you you deal with uh, people with who have already been um identified to have problems. What can we do up that can help us? You know, those of us as we've had only one in four uh, suffer from mental illness every year. So what else can we do to help ourselves? And the, 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 there is a lot that the little things that we are doing, like uh, watching what we eat and, and uh, walking, exercising, um, does help improve mental health. I don't know, is, is there something specific that you want to, for me to kind of touch on? Or? No, no, not specific, just overly, because like you've already said, you've just said uh, what we eat. So I'm going to look into my diet and mm -hmm. just see, you know, junk does not help, junk food. And then I, you know, just brain, you know, I want us to take away something, not just think that, oh, I have to paint, I have to paint. There are other things that we can do. So yeah. You see, as when, when you think of it, it's individual, there are some people who will tell you that actually, when I'm feeling stressed and I start ironing, I find it therapeutic. So you have to work out what helps you relax and what helps. If you know what triggers your uh, stress, because it, it, it might start as little day-to-day -day stresses that will build up over the years to the point where actually somebody then becomes depressed or suffers from anxiety. So when you start noticing little things like that, that, that might be uh, triggering your anxiety or your worries, what is it that you can do? What helps you relax? Do you have time for yourself, even 10 minutes a day, where you can just sit and think, actually, if I sit and I read a book, that helps me relax? Because in a daily basis, I always say this, the thing that we, we forget is we need to tap into our spiritual needs, emotional well-being, psychological and physical on a daily basis, not weekly, not monthly, because that's what we do as, as mo most Africans, sorry for generalizing, because we, we, we forget about ourselves and we, um, we focus on other things. So on a daily basis, find time where you have time to relax, however you relax. Uh, someone might listen to rock music and it helps them relax. That's them. Someone might iron, it helps them relax. Someone might need candles, that's fine. Uh, and in, in, increase your time to exercise. Exercise is not just for physical uh, benefits, but it also benefits your psychological well-being because it releases the happy hormone that we always talk about. You hear the GPs telling you about the endocrines, and it is through exercise. And when they suggest that you walk for even thirty minutes, is good enough because it will make a difference. I don't know if I'm answering you. Yes, Josh, yes. do you want to say something? Um, um, I've been joined by Surya, um, director of the Kaipo piece. I think she's just going to see a bit on art and mental health just for a while. And then, yeah, there you go. Hi, everyone. Um, Hello. Hi, uh, my name is Surya. I actually met Nancy, um, got in touch with me uh, via Facebook. She had seen, my, um, she had seen a post uh, of a painter that um, is an art ambassador for uh, my organization. It's called Kite for Peace. Um, so thank you, Nancy, so much for uh, connecting with uh, Josh and, and valuing his work. Um, as you know, in Zimbabwe, uh, art, the arts and culture scene is so vibrant and um, it's very much a way for, for um, people from all walks to kind of find um, a, a bit of relief and for some people, um, to even make a living from it. Um, but I find, uh, you know, I, I, I've got great respect for, for artists. Um, and, and I mean, you don't have to be especially good at something to be 
you know, to to get benefits from it. So I'm not a, I mean, Josh is a professional. I'm not, um, I'm not an artist myself, but I find that I, I come here once a month um, and I really get to um, express myself and however I'm feeling, he, you know, you can kind of tell from, from what I produce and what I'm feeling. And so it's really actually just about expression and about putting your thoughts and your feelings down on a piece of paper. Um, so that's the benefit that I'm getting from art. I, I just, I started this year painting again this year. Um, and again, when I started, I was very, very good. But yeah, I'm learning to be a little bit more expressive and a little bit more free. Um, and I think it's an outlet. Um, and I, I speak a lot about um, mental health, uh, pre prevention of mental health issues. Um, with my uh, with the work that I do with high school students, is very much a um, prophylactic way of looking at mental health issues. So before people even get into um, mental health issues, uh, I'm already approaching it them from that level. And so I start with children. So it's very much a child-based movement um, where we like we should actually um, play and and um, creative expression shouldn't be therapy. Um, because when it becomes therapy, it's already too late. We need to start instilling this into part of our culture, now, no matter what culture you are. Um, a lot of you are in, I'm not sure if most of you are, are living in the UK, am I right? Um, but I mean, even here, you know, it, it needs to be part of our culture. That play and creative expression is something that is so deeply ingrained that we don't even realize that it's something special. Like, you know, for me, it's like once a month I'm going for art therapy. It shouldn't be that way. I should be able to find a little bit of time every day um, to have a little bit of creativity. Like, like you said, if it's cooking a meal or if it's ironing or, or something, um, you, you having that little bit of meditation or that little bit of creative expression and you finding your peace. So that's what types of piece is about. So I've chosen types to be my medium um, of uh, creative expression and uh, recreation. And I start with children, but um, the kite industry is actually amazing. Um, I've been for uh, several international kite festivals and you see um, really grown people flying the most beautiful, huge, expensive kites. Um, I carry a kite, it's a little bit battered today, but fortunately, but I carry a kite with me in my handbag um, and it's just a miniature kite um, and yeah just wherever I go and I fly my kite and this one goes actually to my kite but yeah I think it's all about finding your own kind of thing what makes you happy um, and you know do it with your children do it with yourself do it with your loved ones um, so yeah I, 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 I think that's um, there's a secret there's a secret to being to being happy and content. I think that whatever you choose, um, do, it with, do it with passion, do it with love, and yeah, just kind of try and find your peace, at least for a short while. Um, I see a little girl there, Elisa. Um, I see your little one there, and I see she's, uh, she's painting, and um, that's great. Um, so we really should really encourage that in, um, in our children as well. And, um, especially if we can do that um, ourselves and, and set an example for them that you know, it's not a special occasion when you play, it's not a special occasion when you fly a kite, it's not a special occasion when you play. You should be doing that. So, thanks so much for listening. If you want to um, see about more about um, our work, uh, you can check us out on Facebook, uh, Kite for Peace Zimbabwe. Um, I'm on Instagram as well. And uh, yeah, you can um, connect with us. So thanks so much. Oh. Thank you. And thank you for coming, Soraya. <laughs> thank you. It's so great to uh, to meet you and the ladies today. Thank you. <laughs> so is everyone finished now? I think that was really, really good. I'm struggling how to show my my picture here. <laughs> oh, just raise it up. Oh, is it big? Put it in front of your face and in show front of... because we can see you, yeah. Can you see it there? Okay, hold on. Let me remove um 
um, Josh from Spotlighting. Okay. Now, show it now. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Wait. <laughs> we get there. Ah, I can't see my face. Can you see? We don't want to see your face. We want to see the painting. Can you see? <laughs> No, no, because we can't your me. virtual background is is is, is it's very... interfering, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, anyway, I'll post it on Facebook. So are we guys done? We need to see <laughs> if Alicia is finished. I'll show you my <laughs> thank you very much, Josh, for, for everything. We it's, it's been yeah, a lovely yeah. session. As well as, did you say the name is Rai or? Pardon? The lady who's just spoken is she called Rai or Surai? Or Surai? Surai. Yeah. I think oh. we'll finish later. Let's let's can we see what we have. Yeah, for now, let's just see what we have and then we'll finish off later. Wow. Oh, that's nice. I can see Alicia from my God. It's beautiful, man. <laughs> Alicia, say something so we can spotlight you. I'm finished yet. It's lovely. Oh, it's, it's coming up. I know it's going to be beautiful. <laughs> You must post the finished product on, on our page. Wow, this is beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. How do you do the beds? I can't do oh, Gosh, you need to see my beds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need to see my flying beds. Well, so guys, um, my, um, I'm about to, to hang up now. So definitely, I um, really enjoyed um, having this um, session. And um, let's let's finish off, and then we post the uh, the paintings when we're done. But and then definitely the next day for the next session will be posted. I'm glad we all were a part. Let's make sure that we tell others um of this initiative that we have started, and then let's bring more friends to come through on the next show. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming, Thank Josh. Thank you, Josh. Next time, I think you need to start thinking about painting the sunset as well, like the African kind of <laughs> sunset. We don't want we'll, one like that. Is it? We'll see what we can do for the next so, Yeah. Thank you, guys. thank you so much for having me here. I am now... Have uh, a great weekend. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Does anyone else want to show us their um, lovely paintings? I'm wondering oh. how I can remove the virtual background. Maybe it's too late. <laughs> it's not. Just go near um, mute. Near mute. I've got mute, stop video, share. That's all I have on my phone. OK. I can't, yeah. So on mute, if you press your, uh, put your, your thing on, on mute, does it, where is it? Okay. To mute and that's it. So it's stop on stop video. Uh-huh. Go on choose virtual background. No, it's, it's going start video. Oh, I found it. Yeah. If I go none, we can see you now. You can see me now. Let's see if, if I put the phone there. Wow. Hey, that can you see it now? Yeah. This that's my that's, this is beautiful. <laughs> wow. Oh. It's beautiful. Well <laughs> done. Wow. Yeah. Oh, done. oh this is beautiful. Well, we get the end. Anyone else before we close?
and then you can finish later my now oh, I'm just go after <laughs> Can I just ask everyone, please, special request to post your, you know, whatever you painted on our page. I can't be posting. I can't be posting these beds, can I? Look yes, at the beds. I can't, even, I can't <laughs> even draw a bed. Look. It's not. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Look at this thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I just see it. I just see it. <laughs> this is now. Let's see. I missed it. You missed it. Uh -huh. You were moving. You were shaking it. Where were you? <laughs> <laughs> really nice, you know. Bring it closer. <laughs> yeah, that's I nice. Know. Yeah, it's it's good. Yeah. Good attempt. Anyway, a thank very you. good one. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us for painting for mental health. Like we heard uh, Sarai saying, painting when we already have mental illness is it's okay, but it's a bit late you can start painting now or incorporate some of the advice that sandra already told us eat healthily walk do exercises you know iron do whatever you know relaxes you do not wait until it's late or too late but mm -hmm. it's never too late anyway you know if you feel you have a problem you would know you have a problem seek advice seek um consult your doctor but start doing something to combat the illness you once you have the illness you do not stay ill forever you can come out of it and this is our way of saying look after yourselves merry christmas and god bless you oh, merry christmas